out there in the YouTube world, it's your boy Dusty Diesel Technician, man, back with another fun filled and informative video. Today we're going to be talking about glass. I know mechanics don't deal with glass, but what's wrong with knowledge? What's wrong with knowing it? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you know something, you might could start doing that if you got a little knowledge, you know what I mean? But this is know it. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the windshield, okay? This is my Chevy Impala. This is a 2006 Chevy Impala. You know what I mean? But, okay. Now. As far as the windshield is concerned, you only can use AS10 or AS1. AS10 is bulletproof glass. It can be used on anyone for any window on your car. It's strong enough to be used on any window on your car. It's bulletproof glass. AS1 is the king of glass as far as, far as not being bulletproof. This is the only glass besides AS10 that can be used on your windshield. AS1. You know, and if you take a look here, this is how you find out what's on your windshield. The little sticker there. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's a GM sticker in the corner over there that says AS1 on it and a bunch of other stuff, but it says AS1. That's what you look for. Or look on the, anywhere on your windshield, look for that stamp, the AS1 stamp. If you know your car don't got bulletproof windows, look for the AS1. You feel me? That's the only glass you can put on that windshield. AS10, which is bulletproof, or AS1, which is the best glass out there for cars. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Now, moving on. AS2. AS2 can be used on any window besides the windshield. Any window besides the windshield. If you look here, it says AS2. Now, I don't know if y'all can make that out or see that. You probably can't see it because of the stripping right there, but that says AS2 on it. You understand? Even on this side, AS2. It doesn't have to be as strong as the windshield, but it has to be strong enough. You understand what I'm saying? So, this, this is AS2. This, AS1. Now, as far as the reds go, on my car, they're using AS2 for the, 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 the rear passenger seats. The rear passenger seats, right? So we're going to get out and look and see if we can find out what they got on the rear. Because I all the way to the rear, the back window, because I don't know. So let's get out and check. But as far as knowledge is concerned, AS3 is normally used on the rear window. Now, if you can see here. That's AS2. And if you come back here on the rear window, I'm looking for the stamp to be somewhere. Oh, it's AS2. You see that? So they could have used AS3, but they're using AS2 for the rear window. You know. So they you I mean they they use the AS3. They could have used AS3, but there's no AS3s on this car. It's all AS2 and AS1. But AS3 can be used on the window behind the rear seats. How do I know this? Because I'm studying to become a Maryland State Inspector right now. And these are the things that we look for. If you got the wrong glass on the wrong application, automatic fail state inspection in the state of Maryland. It's hard as hell to pass a state inspection in Maryland, by the way, but... So, let's do a quick rundown. AS1 or AS10 on the windshield. The driver in the passenger window. AS2. The real passenger windows. AS2. AS2. The rear window all the way behind the rear seat. It can be AS3, but in my case, it's AS2. So AS2 is strong enough to go on any window besides the windshield. Thanks for watching. I'm Dusty Diesel Technician. Y'all know my slogan. Subscribe. Keep me alive.